Hey everyone, this is David at Finish Line Factory and behind me is my 95 240SX. Uh, I recently blew third gear on it and I'm here at Side Mission Garage. We're going to get it fixed, so let's pull it up the tow truck first. Thanks, brother. All right, brother. Have a good one, all right? Yeah. All right, so long story short, I replaced, uh, I did the front calipers, four brand new rotors, four sets of uh, brand new pads in all four corners, and I'm taking the car home, and the next thing you know, the car just goes boom, and uh, I lost third gear, and it makes all kinds of horrible noises, and so, so on and so forth. You know the drill. Uh, in the meantime, I changed changed things up. I put in a new head unit, uh, put in some nice leather seats. Let's take a look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. So, in the meantime, I went ahead and I bought a uh, Z32 transmission. I'm going to swap that in. That transmission can handle like 800 pound-feet of torque, so I don't have to worry about blowing it up. And we just got the transmission back, so we're going to go open that package up and see what it looks like. Let's open it up. So this is my drive shaft. I think these are some uh, customer returns, maybe. Put those aside. So this must be the bell housing in a few bits. So this is the adapter plate. Look at that. KVG Mazworks. Very nice. No flywheel spacers, no BS, no junk. Here's the shifter bracket. Various uh, bits. This must be the shifter. And there is uh, the bell housing. So uh, let me put the camera down and pull that out. Oh, there it is. All right, there's the, comes with its own uh, cross member. All right, so we're just gonna wait till that car is done, and then we're gonna pull my car in. These are the shop cats. So doesn't like me. Doesn't like me. All right, so there's the new bell housing. Here's all the transmission gears and synchros and all this stuff. There's the back housing. Got everything uh, taken apart, cleaned up. And now we're gonna put some RTV on here and put it all back together and seal it up. All right, jump forward a bit. The uh, transmission is now fully assembled. Got a new selector striker, putting it all back together. Uh, this is fifth gear 
we won't be using that. We'll be using the uh, reverse. Uh, got to put the still got to put the speed sensor back in, which is right here. <clears throat> this just pops right in, something like that, more or less. And uh, yeah, should be good to go pretty soon. All right, car's racked up on the lift. We're gonna disconnect the battery real soon. Go ahead and pop the trunk for that. Yeah, you know what you should do? What, what should I do? All right, battery's off, battery's disconnected. Yeah, well, if there's no oil under it, there's no oil in it. So, deal with it. That's what I always say. So, tranny, all this is coming out. Drive shaft is coming out. What else is leaking? Everything is leaking. There's no oil under it, there's no oil in it, right? Right, guys, right? Yeah, right. It doesn't look like it's leaking, it looks fine to me. Right. Don't just sit there, do something. Alright, I'll let, I'll, I'll, I'll let that one pass. Alright, first thing we gotta do is take the transmission out. Take the drive shaft out. Alright, now we're moving the... Now we're taking out the center support bearing. So the drive shaft's already falling off. There you go. Put some light on this. There you go. Your parking brake cables there. Running down. Solid aluminum. Diff mounts. Nice. Oh, there you go. You pulled the. Uh... Let me see this thing. Let me see this thing. Oh, oh, that's nasty. There's all kinds of little chunks coming out of the oil. I gave you 50 bucks to take a sip. Let me see. 50 bucks if I take a sip? Sip. Uh, a sip? No, I'll, I'll think I'll pass on that. Holy crap. Look at this thing. It's full of little chunks. Hey, we should have we should have fished some of the chunks out of the uh, out of the tranny oil. Damn. Chunk right there. there's, oh, there's, there's a I fat chunk right there. right there. Ooh, that's nasty. Yo, we're, I'm gonna pull the bell housing off, and I'm gonna see just how bad it is when we're all done. So, Paul, you you want to know the story of how what happened? So, I changed the brakes. I put in brand new front rotors, brand new front calipers. I changed all four pads, changed brand new rear rotors, and everything, and uh, we put the coilovers back in, and uh, yeah, I took it for a drive, coilovers. shifted around, everything was fine, and then uh, Boom. we pack it all up. We, we're sorry, I, I'm on the way home from my friend's house, and we were doing all the all the work, and next thing you know, boom! I, I was shifting from third to fourth. I wasn't driving hard right. at the time, and. That was it. Yeah, that was yeah. it. Just boom, boom, boom. And yeah, I thought, well, it broke this I thought maybe we dropped the drive shaft or something. Yeah, right. So I pulled solid. over. I'm like, no, no, it's it's definitely internal to the transmission. You put the clutch in, it, stop, it stops making noise. Uh, and it's so bad that when you put it into first gear, or you try to move around, uh, a chunk of gear will move into the mesh, and prevent you from moving. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, right. All right, now we're taking the, All right, now cross the transmission cross member. Cross member. <laughs> this goes along with the uh, I, I have an ISR transmission mount, so that'll be swapping on to the Z32 transmission. A little difficult to see, but right now he is removing the shifter bracket and uh, shifter assembly from the stock transmission. So just six 12 millimeter bolts pulls that right out. All right, then once you've got once you got that done, where is it? There it is. Once you get that out, or at least just have, have it hanging there, you then take all of the transmission bolts. I think there's about seven. You can take that out. Take all the bell housing bolts off uh, on the side. There's two on the top that are a little hard to get to. 
Uh, but yeah, once you get that, transmission's basically loose and you can pull it right out, right Paul? All right, let's do it. So once you got all the bolts out, get the transmission jack on there. Tranny should just come right out. There you go. Separate it from the engine. You can see the flywheel there. Alright, now the transmission, the input shaft is out of the clutch. And it's completely separated from the engine. And you just drop the tranny jack. And down it comes. So. Here's a strongman, Paul. So you can compare the bell housings. You can see how much larger the Z32 bell housing is. Look at that. So you reuse the clutch fork and the throw-out bearing from the K, the throw-out bearing. <laughs> There's a new transmission. That's it. Uh, I don't know if you need the pivot ball or not, but I guess we might we might have to find out. Okay, so something's a little weird here. It says to transfer over the K's mount over to the, I mean, it's supposed to go like this, I guess? Maybe, it, does it slide on? Like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't quite work. I don't ex know how they expect this to work. So, on the Z32 tranny, it just kind of bolts directly to it. So, oh, oh, I see what's going on. So, it's, got, it's already got the mount on it, right there. And I need to, I don't know if I would remove this mount and use the KA's mount. We'll figure it out. I think I, think I do need to remove this, this mount here. And then remove this mount from the Z32 tranny and swap these over. But these bolt holes, these bolts don't line up. Let me see. Yeah, if that were the case, these, these would line up and they don't. So I think I might need to buy like a performance Z32 mount. So for now, we'll just use whatever's here. It, just, it mounts like right there. So it just slides right on. So I don't think I can use the KA mount. So we'll, we'll play around with it. We'll figure it out. All right, once you've got the transmission out, you put, you line up the adapter plate to the engine and you line it up on that dowel. And then there are several countersunk holes there, up there, one up there. One over there, and you you put those in, and that'll hold. You put them in with a lot of torque, decent, not a, not a ton, but just decent enough to hold it in very well. And then uh, you you mount the engine to the adapter plate. Well, you put the transmission to the adapter plate, and uh, you keep the dust shield on. Do not remove that. That dust shield prevents uh, dust and other uh, foreign objects from entering the bell housing and possibly causing some issue with the clutch or something bad so don't do not throw that out all right well paul's working on getting doing a few other things while he's over there but first start mounting this bracket to the tranny there's uh there are half inch bolts with half inch nuts on the bottom lock nuts so you have to worry about them coming apart and then yeah just, now we were just screwing around with the, with the shifter you don't actually put that on until it's inside so the transmission is already in the car and then you put, the, put this on through this hole into the inside the car. What you doing, Paul? Oh, loosening the motor mounts. Okay. So what I, I like to loosen the motor mounts, tilt the engine back a little bit to ease installing the tranny. But Paul likes to uh, lower the subframe a tiny bit. You know, not enough to remove it, but just enough to lower the engine to make it the install a little bit easier. Yeah, 
just lifting the lifting the transmission up into the belt, into the transmission tunnel. Okay, problem number one. What's hitting? <laughs> A big ass sensor right here. Speed sensor. Help me shift it over on the on the jack a little. Where do you want to go? Lift it. Lift it and over. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Go. Keep going. You don't have Good a, work, Mossworks. You know, you very, go. very nice. Very, very nice. Mwah. Yeah, because you don't have this extra inch adapter plate. I'd rather have the Mwah. have it machined. I don't so have it works to smash on the firewall. Amazing. Okay, so far, I don't have to drop the fucking engine to put a transmission in. Yeah, Amazing. The yeah, the suffering drops. A little, well, just a little oh, bit. Well, you have to as anyway. far as I can. You, I don't think you can have to. I don't even know how I can get to the top walls. Care very careful. Slight foot problem. All right, so there's a slight problem. Yeah, three right. did everything. So if you look there, the steering shaft and the transmission are sandwiching the downpipe, and so you can't really just move loosen things up and move them around. We might have to actually fabricate a new downpipe or make some modifications to this one. So. Oh, no, we're definitely fabricating. Oh yeah. So we're gonna see uh, what we've got to do once it's all once it's all together. Right now it's actually, it's currently 1.12 a.m. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep working. Once the transmission is in, you secure the five bolts that go around the bell housing. And those secure into the, um, the adapter plate, so you'll be good to go there. While Paul does that, I will take this plate right here and secure it into that little window there and that will block off uh, the hole where the factory starter would have gone in the 300ZX, right there. So this is the transmission mount that I had before. It's an ISR transmission mount, and unfortunately it's not compatible with the, with the transmission, with the Z32 transmission and the cross member that Mazwork supplies you. So we've gone ahead and we've bolted up a factory K24 uh, mount. And that should work with the new cross member, which I've put somewhere over here. There it is. Let me see. Excuse me, Paul. Oh, you don't have it on yet. So I have the, you just put this cross member on. And then you bolt the cross member in, and then you gotta move a few things around, and they should mount right up. So, kind of a slight problem. The transmission mount doesn't quite perfectly line up, but I think I think we use a, a punch. There you go. But we use the punch to make it line up. Shift things around a little bit. All right. Once that's out of the way, transmission's in. Everything's bolted up. Start installing the drive shaft. So you put the the slip yoke slides right in. One piece drive shaft bolts right on to the differential. So you just get those four bolts out of the way, and you're good to go. All right. So now you have to drill the starter holes out to accommodate the new, the new bolts and uh, that uses a 13 30 seconds drill bit so we've got it secured in the vise and we're just gonna pop right through it uh, the new the new uh, the original starter is threat has threaded holes here so we're gonna be removing those here we mount in the slave cylinder uh, we're using the stock 240 slave cylinder for now but I will be switching this for a 300 ZX slave cylinder pretty soon because if you, if you look here the line actually sits kind of low so that's not that's not right 
All right, so now you just put the starter in after you drill out the holes, and you're good to go. All right, guys, you might have a little trouble seeing me, but uh, that was a long night. It's actually 2.43 a.m. It's 2.43 a.m., and, uh, well, we got the car 90% done. It's just that we needed a hole saw so that we can cut a two-inch hole into the body so that the shifter, um, to, to make space for the shifter, because the shifter bracket is a little further back than the stock location. Um, so because we don't have the hole saw and it's 2.43 in the morning, none of the stores are open. We could try Walmart, but I don't think Walmart stocks that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go home and I'll be taking the Mustang out to Lamborghini Brower tomorrow. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun day tomorrow. See you guys. Peace out. All right, everyone, the car's behind me. Car's transmission's done. All they had to do was just uh, wire up the, let's see, the speedometer sensor and the reverse sensor. And then they drilled the hole for the shifter. All that, I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't get to catch it in the vlog, but whatever, not a big deal. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make, make a few changes on the computer. Um, just test out a few things. And then I'm going to take it for a drive and then I'll modify the speedometer uh, so that you, it'll read correctly. By the way, if you're watching this now, uh, this is actually the next day, the next evening. It's actually 7 p.m. right now. So the events I did earlier at Lamborghini Broward at Supercar Saturday, uh, those are going to be posted tomorrow. So a uh, little disruption in the timeline. Yeah, whatever.